Hello everyone, this is Martin McKenna from NiceGuyHunter.com Just a quick intro to this next video I've made on YouTube uh, The weather here has been so bad recently I've hardly got any drone flying done It's either too windy or there's heavy showers or it's raining or all of the above I've never seen a September and October like it in my life Usually when we get bad weather here you get one or two days and you get back to calm, nice clear air, onesies down, you get a couple of days to do something, do filming, photography, flying, then the next low pressure system comes in, hits you again and you get an hour break and you get another couple of days action, you know, it usually you always have a chance, it balances itself out very well, but this year it's complete opposite, it's been very difficult to get any flights in at all. It's always raining, it's always too windy, especially in your coastal areas where I like to operate, uh, usually 20 miles per hour up to 30 40 miles per hour ones in the stronger gusts over the sea it's just impossible to fly i've missed out in my or test flights areas missing. around the coast the beaches and coastline and the kind of things i like to do so i'm patiently waiting for a chance to get out again but in the meantime these down periods give you a good time to go through your images and edit and look at past events and reflect so i've decided to make an hour slideshow for youtube just a simple slideshow showing a selection of night sky night landscape images I've taken over the years. Some of them are quite old, some of them taken from the last few years and some of them are fairly recent. Um, they're mostly short just exposures of certain areas like coastal areas or nice foreground I enjoy going to with the stars, sometimes in moonlight, sometimes in moonless skies, sometimes with aurora. There's NLC, star well, trails, uh, that kind of thing. Most of them from the coastline, some of them from locally where I live all taken from various seasons, all times of year, some of them with uh, 50mm f1.8 lens or 50mm f1.4 lens sorry, uh, or the 10mm wide angle and occasionally the kit lens just to show the general kind of stuff I'm interested in it's nice to go back and look at all your images and see how you've progressed with time anyway so anyway that's what the whole thing's about just a bit of a gap filler uh, reflecting and enjoying my older images and put them up on the YouTube in the meantime I'm hoping from looking at all these I've got a new sort of inspiration to get out again and get shooting soon so despite this bad weather I'm hoping to get a clear night or two and get out and do more night landscape photography with or without aurora doesn't matter I'm particularly interested in star trails and I'm particularly interested in night time lapse which I really enjoy doing so I'm hoping to get stuck into that again I'm getting my digi slider currently operational again and possibly an older, older Canon camera for backup and my, my intention is to get two cameras shooting at the same time shooting time lapse or shooting star trails, one of them on a digi slider, the other one static and uh, hopefully get some really interesting scenes. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Before you go I wanted to show you this cool poster I have here. That is Great Comet McNaught. This was a Christmas gift for me one year, sent to me the well known photographer Chris Watt from Australia. He sent this to me, uh, I think it's an A1 size. But interestingly, the comet itself, this photograph was taken by the discoverer of this comet, Robert McNaught. So that's his photograph of the stunning comet, one of the best comets in our lifetime. And what makes this particularly interesting for me, not only do I love comets and great comets, and not only is it an honor to get a photograph taken by the guy who discovered it and sent to me by another well known uh, photographer and comet observer from Australia but Robert McNaught has even took the time out to, to write on it and sign it for me too. It says, Hi Martin, don't need a telescope for this one! Exclamation mark. Best wishes, Bob McNaught. I think that's a very nice touch.